trapped at home, a broken elevator inside this Mattapan apartment building has left some disabled residents without any options, and they're not getting any answers either. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Chris Tanaka. I'm Paula Eben. It's been five days yeah. since that out-of-order notice was posted on the elevator, and as WBZ's Jordan Jagelinzer shows us, residents have no clue how long repairs will take. But I get up there, I can barely breathe. Residents living at Mattapan Heights are frustrated as another day passes by without their only elevator fixed. Ty is one of them. She suffers from severe asthma and says going up so many stairs is nearly impossible. I have a handicap placard and everything, so it's not like this is, this is a joke. This man just had double knee surgery and had to carry two packages up several flights of stairs to his apartment. Another woman confined to a wheelchair has been forced outside her home since she had no way to get food. Now there's no way for her to get back in. Can't climb the stairs at all. Can't go in my house with nothing in the world. That don't make no sense. To get to each floor, each resident has to go up a set and a half of stairs. I counted them, and it's about 20 steps each floor. But if you have to go all the way to the top, to the sixth floor, that's 120 steps that a resident would have to do. Jennifer McCauley lives on the top floor and had to have surgery a week ago for stent placement in her legs. I come home out of the hospital, I have to walk six flights of stairs. At 63, she's lived in Mattapan Heights for 10 years. She says they've never been without a working elevator for this long. It's unacceptable when you have to walk up six flights of stairs in my condition. She hopes speaking out will fix the problem and fears for her health if nothing is done. And then if I was to get sick and call the ambulance, they, they would have to walk up six flights of stairs and carry me back down six flights of stairs. So I'm praying to God that he keeps me healthy. Residents have been told for the past five days the issue is being worked on. But when we asked if they've seen anyone, this was their answer. And you guys haven't seen anybody no. working on it? No, we haven't seen anybody working on it. The building is run by Trinity Management. The company handles properties throughout Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and New York. But like I said, one or two days, but not five days. And it's still not done today. In Mattapan, Jordan Jagelins, our WBZ News. Now, the company managing that building tells us it is working on restoring elevator service as quickly as possible, and they understand the challenges this presents to their residents, but they could not explain why it's taking so long and also couldn't give a timeline on when the elevator will be fixed. This story, by the way, came from a tip, so if you have a news tip for us, send an email to newstips at wbztv.com or just go to our website, cbsboston.com, and click on more.